Okay. Hey. I've gotten some recent emails about uh, putting together your image sequences in QuickTime. And uh, perhaps it took a while for you to get to this point and you're not really sure if you remember how to do it. So I just want to make it really clear. There's two things that you need to watch out for. So um, what we're going to do, we got uh, QuickTime right here. And you're just going to go File, Open Image Sequence. And hopefully your camera is putting out a numbered image sequence like the one that I've uh, put out here um, from a little test movie that I ran. Um, you're just going to select the very first picture in your image sequence. You're going to say open. It'll take a few seconds. Um, you want to make sure you match your frame rate to the frame rate that you're working in. Uh, in this case, mine was 29.9, but yours will be 24 so that you can uh, match them up with your audio. Um, and we'll get to that part in just a second. Um, first off, I want you to see right here that uh, obviously uh, these pictures are very big, right? And as you saw in class last week, um, trying to play them back when they're really big like this doesn't doesn't really work out. Um, kind of a little chunky. As you can see, my computer's pretty fast here, um, but that's still uh, it's it's not the best. All right. So you've loaded it in and it plays. Uh, you want to save it. So you're going to go down here to export, click on that, you're going to get this, it's going to have the movie extension here, you're going to say export movie to QuickTime movie, right? And this will probably say something like default settings or something like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to this options and uh, you're going to choose a compressor. Hopefully you have this one here. Cool. Um, that's really the one you want to use. Uh, it's it's the fastest one to play. Leave the set high. Leave these at the defaults. That's fine. Um, but before you go, okay, you want to say size because right now this is in the compressor native and it's trying to convert it to this four by three of uh, nineteen twenty by twelve eighty. All right, so what you want to do is you want to go down here and you want to say, I already know that mine is, is 4, 3, right? Um, you could say this here, NTSC 720 by 480, that's standard DV resolution. You could say this down here, HD, or you could compress it to this, um, not really recommended. Uh, I'm going to choose this. 720 by 480, 43. Say OK. I'm going to say this here: preserve aspect aspect ratio by letterbox, which means if it is different than that, and I know it's not here, but for yours it may be, um, it will either have black bars on the top or on the sides in order to preserve the aspect ratio of your movie. So I suggest you do this here. Okay. Click OK. Click OK, and uh, I've already done it here, so I'm going to say save. I'm going to tell it to replace it. We're going to have some time pass here. This is a really important step because, as you saw last week, um, if you don't take this step, uh, you're going to come on Tuesday and you're going to try and play the movie, and it's it's going to be disappointing for everyone. So don't disappoint everyone. Resize your movie to a standard, preferably DV size, so that so that we don't have any trouble playing it. Right. All right. I think I'm probably going to edit here, and uh, I'll be right back as soon as this movie is done exporting. All right. So it's done. We've got this great big one here. I'm going to go ahead and open the one that I've resized. Looks like that's it. And there. It's a nice manageable size. Plays really great. But what? There's no sound, right? So hopefully what you've done 
is you've already worked out all of your audio and it matches the size of your animation exactly. So what you should be able to do is follow these two steps. Let's close out some things here. Close this. Close this. We'll come back to that. Step one is you say file, open file, go down here, say audio files. You choose your audio file that you've already prepared and you open it. That's nice. You say edit, select all, and then you say edit, copy, put it on your clipboard. All right, then we're going to go back here. I'm going to say open file. I'm going to go back to the movie. I'm going to open it. You're going to say edit, add to movie. All right. Now, the audio that I use is a little bit longer than my original movie, right? So that's why we get this white space. I'll show you how to trim that in a second. But as you can see, now my image and my sound are married. Isn't that great? That's a lot of fun. And it runs really nice. Excellent. Um, so the last thing that you can do is you can take these little sliders. See these little sliders down here that I'm moving? I'm moving all the way to the end of the video. That's the end, up here, trim to selection, now everything is under control, pretty fantastic, I'm just going to say save, and now if we close this, Close this, and on Tuesday night, we should be able to come into class. I'll have it hooked up. I'll say open. I'll say, oh, look at that. There's your movie. I'll open it. And I'll play it. We'll just have a really, really great time. All right. All right. Uh, thanks. Bring your pieces. On Tuesday night, we're going to have a little screening.